It's a cold winter night. There's nothing better than a cozy dinner. In today's recipe of the day, Chef Christy Ross is sharing an oven roasted meal that'll fill your kitchen with all sorts of yummy aromas. She's sharing the how to to make cast iron roasted capote. So I begin with seasoning the interior with kosher salt. Be generous. And then I like to add in some dry sage here, which is going to smell so fragrant when uh, it hits the roasting pan and the oven. And then I'm going to insert some celery leaves and sage, this is whole sage, some fresh thyme, all these wonderful flavorful items in here. And then I'm going to put in some onion. I'll take about, probably about a quarter of an onion for this one. Stick that in there. And that part's ready. Now, all I do is tie the legs together with some string. There we go. Nice and tightly. And then I fold under the wings. And I'm going to transfer this to a large cast iron roasting pan. Cut the string a little bit there. Okay, and then I brush the exterior very lightly with a little olive oil. Don't do too much, just a little bit, because then I'm going to season this bird. And the olive oil will help the meat to brown, but it will also help hold all of the herbs and the seasonings in place. In the meantime, I preheated my oven to 450 degrees. And I know that sounds really hot, but with if you start the bird at a high temperature, then you'll get a really great browning. And that makes the, the uh, capon look absolutely terrific when it comes out of the oven. Besides, it makes that nice crisp skin that people love. So again, generous on the seasoning. Add some freshly ground black pepper. And I have some fresh thyme. Doesn't that look beautiful? And some fresh sage. And this is ready for the oven. So I start it at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes, then reduce the heat to 350, cover it, and continue roasting until an instant read meat thermometer inserted into the thickest part of the thigh registers 165 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I know the meat is done. So into the oven it goes, the total cooking time will be about two and a half hours. Looks good. Well, we'll post this recipe after the show on KSDK.com and our YouTube page for more recipes like this from Christy, visit ChristyRost.com.